VOR, or a very high frequency omnidirectional range, is a type of radio aid used in aircraft navigation. The principle is to fly a specific magnetic track to and from the station so that the aircraft can reach its destination. The frequency band for VOR stations is from 108 to 117.95 MHz. To be able to navigate via VOR stations, one must be familiar with radials. A radial is basically a line of position that extends outwards from a VOR station with an angular displacement from the magnetic north. This results in a wide range of possible radials that the aircraft can fly along. To identify these radials on board an aircraft, instruments like course deviation indicator and horizontal situation indicator are used. When using VOR navigation, it's important to be aware of the to and from sectors that are separated at a 90 degree angle when compared to the selected course. So for example, if we wanted to overfly a station while flying at a course of 060 degrees, we would select a course of 060 degrees on one of the indicators, and then we would fly along the radial 240 in the 2 sector, and then after overflying the station, along the radial 060 in the from sector. If we want to fly a different course from the station, we simply change the course on the indicator when we are above the station. But, since there is no signal reception in a small cone above the station, sometimes referred to as the cone of silence, after losing the signal, we will wait for the indicator flag which was showing a two indication to change to a from indication. Now that the aircraft overflew the station in the course of 060 degrees, a turn can be made to intercept the new desired course after selecting it on our indicator. Ok, so how can you tell when you are off course? The vertical needle of the indicator will always be centered when on proper course. If you deviate from it, the course indicated by the needle will also deviate from the center. If we select a course of 250 degrees and want to fly towards the station, we need to fly along the radial 070. If we get off course, for example, to the radial 064, that means we deviated 6 degrees to the right. That means our course line is now to the left of us, which is also indicated by the needle that moved to the left. This means a turn to the left is needed to get back on our course. Notice it moved 3 dots. Each dot on this indicator represents an error of 2 degrees with a maximum error of 10 degrees which is equal to 5 dots. Any deviations that are 10 degrees or more will be indicated the same by a full deflection. When using CDI, double check your selected course because if you select the opposite course, in this example 070 instead of 250, the needle will still be centered when on proper course, but the indicator deviation from it will be wrong, meaning if you deviate to the right, the needle will also deviate to the right instead of left. Ok, so how do you find out where you are? You punch in the VOR frequency and the needle instantly forward deflects. What do you do? You start spinning the course selector knob until the needle centers. Once it centers, you can read off the radio you are currently on with the help of the to from indication. If the flag is showing a 2 indication, that means if you turn to the course indicated on the top of the instrument, you will fly directly to the station on the radial indicated on the bottom of the instrument. If the flag is showing a from indication, a turn to the indicated course on top will lead you away from the station on the radial that is also indicated on the top. To simplify it, if you want to fly towards the station, whenever the needle centers, turn to the course that is pointed by the two front flag indicator, and vice versa if you want to fly away from the station. The radial will be indicated on the opposite side of the two front flag. Let's see another example.